Hi, my name is Sarah Kenny, and today I'm going to show you a hip and glute strength sequence that will help you be super strong through hips and glutes and ultimately help you avoid injury. So the only equipment we'll be using today is a band. So if you have a band, go ahead and grab one. We're going to start with band around our legs just above the knee for glute holds. Now, for these glute holds, you're going to want to grab onto something stable. Come up on one leg, and to get in the right position, you want to bring your um, outside leg out laterally, and then to the back until you really feel that glute turn on. So once you're there, you can go ahead and hold for one minute, and depending on how much time you have, you could repeat this up to four times on each side. Holding one minute each time. So you'll notice that your stable leg is also working. So you should be feeling that glute engage as well, pressing down through the floor into the heel. Pressing, pressing down through the heel into the floor. So after a minute, you're going to want to go ahead and switch sides. And again, to get in the correct position, you're going to go ahead and bring this leg up, laterally to the side, and then to the back until you hear, feel, you could hear it, feel that glute turn on. And then from there, you're just going to want to hold. So for this particular exercise, like I said, two to four reps, one minute on each side. So next we're going to bring it down to the mat. We'll move the band down around our ankle. We're going to do a sideline leg raise with a hold at the top. So in order for this to be effective, we really need to make sure that we are in alignment. So pelvis is in neutral. You don't want to be arching your back or curling forward. Stacked hips. You want to make sure that your pelvic floor is drawn up. Transverse abs are engaged. Ribs are knit together. And then from here, we're going to go ahead and raise that leg. Make sure that what is working is your glutes. The goal is to get this as high as possible because then we're starting to recruit other muscles that we don't really necessarily want to work. So make sure you're just lifting to the point where the glute feels fatigued and then you're just gonna hold. And you can hold until you give up. So this exercise is too fatigued. We're not going for reps or necessarily time. We just are holding until we get tired. So when you do reach that point of fatigue, you can go ahead and switch sides. Coming into this side, you do want to make sure everything's alignment, in alignment, hips are stacked, pelvis is neutral, ribs knit together, transverse abs engaged, pelvic floor drawn up, all that good stuff. And then go ahead and lift until you feel that glute engaged, the glute is working. And hold until you can't hold anymore. So for our next exercise, we're going to come up, keep the band around your ankles, and we are going to do what I like to call state steers. So for this, we're going to come down into a half squat, and we are going to kick out like we are on skate skis. So we're using the glute to really push out hip and glute to push out to the side. Bring your arms into it to get a good rhythm going. And usually for this, I like to repeat until I get 10 reps on each side. 
For our next exercise, we are going to want to take your band and wrap it around something stable, either couch, a chair, whatever you have. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it around our treadmill here. Loop it around our foot, grab onto something stable, and we are going to adduct here for 10 reps. And then we'll go ahead and switch sides. And from this, where you hang on might be a little bit tricky. How you hang on might be a little bit tricky. We're going to go ahead and abduct. for another 10 reps. And then we can go ahead and switch sides. Add up. And then switch to the next leg and add up. Now, if you can, if you find yourself having to get creative with the way you stand, you can either go in front or behind. Whatever works best for you. So we're going to finish up with our last exercise. The band is going to go around our angles again. And we are going to do a little matrix from a half squat position. So we're gonna come down into a squat, and from here, we are going to tap out to the side, to the back, or diagonally, and then to the back. And then we're going to repeat as we come around again. And usually, for this particular exercise, I like to do about five reps of the whole cycle. And then we can go ahead and switch to making sure that you're staying in that half squat, really engaging the hip as you move around. So it's back, diagonal, So for this hip and glute routine, you can repeat the whole sequence two to four times depending on how much time you have. And remember, any amount of strength training that you can do, whether it's five, 10, 15 minutes, it all helps, it all counts. We'll end 